The 2009 McInerney Ford Night Series was played at BGC Stadium, home of Perth Soccer Club, and it saw them take on local rivals Florid Athena. The thing was, Perth have won eight out of the last 11 tournaments that have been held in the Night Series, and they were also hoping to win their fourth tournament on the trot. Arch rivals, as we said, Florida Athena versus Perth, as referee Tom Claver met the two captains and they prepared to do battle in front of a crowd of over 2,000. Both coaches made two changes to their lineups Michael Rocky bringing in Simon Madashi in goal for Alex Dunn and Dean Applegren for James Asaya, while Graham Normanton's coach of Perth brought in Dan Skin and Greg Sharland for the suspended Antonio Naglieri and Dom de Felice. Perth started the stronger and Todd Howe's quickly taken free kick found Marco Pelosi and his shot set the intentions early as it just went wide of the post. Perth continued to dominate, Pelosi this time being the supplier as he tried to find the Perth striker David Onoforo but sadly his pass was just over hit. Floriot managed to withstand the early Perth onslaught. And in fact, it was good work by Jared Smith who found David Foster running towards the Perth box. The new recruit did well and laid the ball out wide to the left to Daniel Niederberger. And he crossed for Branimir Mikulic, who sadly put the ball over the crossbar. The game was beginning to open up and both teams had their chances. First, Onofuro was found with a wide ball on the right-hand side of the box. He laid the ball back to Charlin, but his shot just skewed past the outside of the keeper's post. Next came the most unlikely of chances for Perth. It looked like nothing was happening. A simple ball played back to the keeper, but his miscued clearance by Jason Saladaris almost opened the door for Florida Athena. But lucky for them, the header went just wide of the post. Soon after it was Perth again with a fantastic chance, when John Migas, usually so reliable for Florida Athena, gave the ball away in the middle of the park. Danskin surged forward and found Onofuro in a 3-1 situation for the Perth side. He laid the ball into the path of Phil Arnold, but the young striker just put the ball wider when he should have done so much better. A squandered chance for Perth. Then it was Floriot's chance to create another opportunity. Johnny Migas, making up for losing the ball earlier, did well to win the ball back again on the halfway line. And Floriot were very quick to attack. The ball was played in and Foster, this time from about four yards out, just put the ball wide when he should have maybe just squeezed it past the keeper. In the 33rd minute, the deadlock was broken. Danskin's corner to the back post was headed back into the box by Arnold and Kay was there to pop the ball home from all of two metres. A fantastic finish by the big defender who was right on the spot when he was needed and the crowd were really happy to see their home team. Danskin's ball very deep as we see it again to the back post. Phil Arnold does well to pull off his marker and just head it into the mixing box and Kay just slots it home. 1-0 to Perth and it looked like the Night Series crown could be theirs for a record fourth time in succession. But Florida are a far better team than to lie down and just give up. And they continued to attack and try and break down the very resolute Perth defence. But there was nothing they could do as the half-time whistle approached and they had to go in with a 1-0 deficit and come out and see what they could do in the second half. Florida it was who got the second half underway and it was a second half that was memorable for the efforts of the goalkeepers. Madashi, Florida Athena's goalkeeper and a well-known name in goalkeepers in Australia was the first to show his heroics. A wonderful ball in from Howarth was played back at the edge of the box and Danskin surging forward brought the best out of the young keeper. Next it was the chance of Jason Saladaris in the Perth goal as he did well to get down to his right to save a Johnny Migas free kick. Then it was Madashi's turn again. Good work by the Perth team on the left-hand side. Todd Howarth picking up the ball, beating a defender and putting in a pinpoint cross to find Phil Arnold. 
His downward header was saved superbly by Madashi, diving up and across. Perth were beginning to dominate, and when Phil Arnold picked up the ball on the edge of the box, he found Pelosi wide on the left-hand side. Pelosi took a touch and then played a cross-come shot which Onoforo almost got on the end of. Arnold, he of the Ronaldo stepovers, was provider again not long after. He played a wonderful ball through for David Onoforo. The Perth striker did very well to get the ball round the goalkeeper but the angle was tight and he put the ball over the crossbar. Good goalkeeping. With the game opening up, Onofuro had plenty of space and when Michael Black found him on the right-hand side, he surged forward into the Floriot box, probably took a shot a little bit early and put it past the post, squandering another chance for Perth. Soon after, Perth nearly paid for those missed opportunities. Paul Vatista's wonderful flick over his head was played forward to Scott and Saladaris made a fantastic save from three or four yards out. Next it was Saladaris who had a little bit of luck as that cross come shot hit the crossbar and ricocheted almost to safety as Scott could do nothing and he got down to make an easy save. Floriot continued to press, they never gave up and really Johnny Marger should have done better when he had time from a wonderful ball on the right hand side, found him in space on the left, brought it down well on his chest but just couldn't get over the ball and put it over the crossbar. Space opening up all over the park, Marco Pelosi, the former Hearts player, had a chance to show the fans what he can do and how he's going to be a danger in the season ahead. The finish not matching the run. There was still time for Florida Athena to get the much needed equaliser. A free kick on the right, played in. Saladaris did well to punch the ball clear and there was no time for Florida to get the ball back in and get that much needed equaliser. The final whistle sounded and Perth had won their fourth McInerney night series and there were hugs on the bench all around. Coach Graham Normanton sadly missing out because he was up in the stand. Dennis McInerney from McInerney Ford presented Todd Howarth with the cup and boy did he look happy. The first cup of the season for Perth Soccer Club and there'll be many that won't bet against them winning more silverware this season. All right, Graham, looking at the celebration in the rooms there, those who say the press and doesn't mean much, must be, uh, it means a lot to you guys, uh, four times winners in a row now. Yeah, oh, well, winning any title means a lot, but, um, you know, when you get to a final of anything, you want to win it. And we got there, wanted to win it. I think we showed it tonight, although the guys were, it wasn't a pretty game in a lot of respects, but it was certainly uh, a tight and tense game, and I thought there was, actually, there was a number of opportunities at both ends, but, uh, you know, one was enough in the end, wasn't it? And why do you think your guys uh, have the affinity with the night series? I think that's eight times in 11 years in the last four. Something special about the competition that uh, drives you guys to, to excel in it? Um, I'm not sure why we do well over, over, over and above anybody else other than I use it for preparation for the season. And the lads are fighting for their places and, you know, if they want a place in the team, so, and that goes for any time of the year, whether it's the night series or during the league. So they want a place in the team, they've got to fight for it. And I think our preparation and all that sort of stuff comes off. So, yeah, I just think we probably, you know, we, I don't know whether we take it more serious, but we certainly give the players an incentive to, to get in the team. And I think that must be something to do with it. And uh, so this gives you a fantastic springboard into the uh, season proper? Hopefully. Yeah, last year we didn't go on with it very well. Um, you know, we sort of fell in a hole after until about the seventh game of the season last year. Hopefully that doesn't happen. We've, we've put things in place that will guard against that this year. So the proof will be in the pudding, won't we want it? But uh, hopefully we'll, it's a springboard for the season, yeah. Thank you, Graham. Enjoy the win. Thanks, mate.